questions for reflection. The Bible is filled with accounts of angels. The Word speaks to their office. They are the ones who are sent by God, His messengers, and His gift to all of us. Here in the final book of the Bible, notice their presence. They execute His judgment and sing His praises. The Catechism of the Catholic Church tells us the existence of the spiritual non-corporeal beings that sacred scripture usually calls angels is a truth of faith. The witness of scripture is as clear as the unanimity of tradition. Do we believe in angels? I mean really believe? Do we believe we have a guardian angel assigned to us? We do. Notice that when David sings of the final judgment, he does so with joy and not a wrong kind of fear. There is a right kind of fear, fear of the Lord. It is, as the book of Proverbs explains, the beginning of wisdom. David knew he had sinned greatly, but he discovered the joy of true repentance and the mercy of a loving God. What kind of fear rules our life? The fear of God, which brings wisdom by drawing us to repentance and freedom? or servile fear, which robs us of God's gifts. Persecution for being openly and publicly Christian is a promise of the Bible. Oh, it is often not found in too many books which give the lists of the promises of the Bible, but it should be. The early Christians bear witness to its power to transform lives. They were so in love with the Lord and so filled with His Spirit that many of them were martyred. The word martyr means witness. Most of us will not be called to shed our blood, although our brethren in other parts of the world are doing so even today. But we are called to be witnesses and in an increasing way to experience a form of persecution for being a Christian. Are we receiving it as an opportunity to bear witness as Jesus asked? Do we believe that He through the Holy Spirit will give us the words to say if we are delivered up for our faith.